Oh, so we were talking about that tonight. Um, ten changes. What, what, were you, what was the thinking? What were you? Um, a couple of things. The uh, the lads who haven't um, been involved as much this year um, and have worked really, really hard with the group and been part of the group. You know, I felt they deserved to to have a run out. Um, and two or three of the lads after the the Villa game, you know, were were carrying little knocks as well. So you took a view of it. Um, and you know they they you know, last night was they took their chances we didn't take our chances we had you know three or four really really good chances when we went a goal down you know clean going through Lambert's effort um, the cross that, that guards really should score from and just gets a touch and Ricky's coming in behind him and scores it if so you added the opportunities the big thing is if you look at the the, the round yesterday Sheffield Wednesday have made ten changes and one at Newcastle. No one will be asking Sheffield Wednesday why they made 10 changes. The thing is always winning. If you win, nobody says anything. If you get beat, then people ask questions. And I understand that. Does it give you any concerns over the depth in the squad? No, not really. We've got what we've got. We have to get on with it. You know, there's, you can't change it. So we have to, you know, we have to get on. We, we knew before the window closed what we were trying to get and what we were trying to achieve. Sometimes you get that, sometimes you don't. But we've got what we've got. And, you know, the, the, the really good thing about um, last week, uh, win against Aston Villa was the, the performance and the way the players played. And if we can keep that momentum and keep that going, um, then, um, you know, we should pick up enough points to give us, you know, that, that buffer that you need going into the next window to see if we, you know, if we have to improve then. I mean, you, you look at it at what you're doing in the Premier League, and seven points out of the last nine, it's, it's, it's a heck of a run, it's, and you know how hard it is to put a run like that together in the Premier League. No, it's, it's difficult, and we've had difficult games, and, you know, we play Monday, we play Everton on Monday, you know, Everton are a top seven, eight team in the Premiership, we played Southampton, who, who have been flying the last two years, and we played Man City, and we also played, you know, Chelsea, so, you know, the games at home have been very difficult games, it's been, a, you know, the, the four opening games. You know, Man City, Chelsea, and then you're looking at Southampton and Everton for your home games. They're very, very tough. It's a, it was a very so it was important that we pick points up away from home, and um, you know that's what we've done. We've set our stall out, and we've uh, we managed to get points on the on the board away from home rather than our own. Three clean sheets consecutively as well. How much does that please you? No, it's, 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 it, it, we played we played six games. We've got four four clean sheets, and you know it, it, it's been Chelsea and Man City. Who, who've scored against us so you know the, the uh, you know the basis of what we work on and what we talk about um, you, know, the, you know the lads have, have been very very good with it and like I say against Aston Villa we looked as though we were going to score goals which for the first time this year Rob to be perfectly honest you know we'd looked threatening against Man City at times and against Chelsea without being you know really dominant in respect of creating chances against Villa you know we, we looked as though we could you know, we could create um, and really should score more goals. And the man who scored, I wonder, for, for him and his relationship with the fans and his teammates after all he's been through, how important for Sadio Barino to get that goal? Well, it's, it's good because it takes the pressure off him and, you know, that's the most probably the, the biggest thing for the, for the lad is, is to take that pressure off. But he's been, you know, he's been good round the place. So I think the reaction of the supporters after it and I think the reaction of the players with him after it shows that, the, you know, there's, there's, there's good unity within the group. Um, and you know what we need him to do now is just concentrate on playing football. That's that's that gift that he's been given, and um, you know he's got to make the most of it. What we've seen of him the last couple of seasons, though, is the Sado Barry, you know, with a big smile on his face. Is that back now around the training ground? Is the Sado smile certainly, back? Certainly was in the dressing room after the game. Was it? But has, has it lifted the mood for him? No, I, you know, like I say, the, 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 I feel you know a little bit sorry for him with all the the stuff that's going on. He's a young lad, and. Um, you know, to be put under the pressure he's been put under and everything else is, is a lot to handle. Um, and as I've said, you know, all of us in this room have made mistakes and looked back with hindsight and said, you know, if we had the chance to do something again, we'd do it differently. And I'm sure Sido will look back and, on this episode and, and think, well, I could have handled that better. But we've all done it, Rob. But he can pull that behind him now, can't he? Oh, no, 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 it's very, very much now. It's, it's a clear path through to to play in as many games as he possibly can and scoring as many goals as he can and that's what we want him for that's what the you know the football club wants and you know that's what Sider wants now
Anybody last night that caught your eye that you make fit that he's pushing for a start now, pushing for a place in the? No, it was, it was. You know, like I said, the lads, all the lads worked really hard. It was, you know, it was a you know tough game for them. We knew it'd be a tough game travelling there. You know, Norwich is it's obviously a difficult uh, trip and journey there and back. Um, but they worked really hard, and you know, if we'd have had the breaks, like I said, we, if we'd have scored the goal at one nil and got back to one each, it could have been a different game. But small margins in the Premier League, and, and you know, I know that. And, Everybody else understands it, I think. So, you know, it's, it's we move on now. Team news for us. Anybody that's come out of last night, or you said there were a couple of knocks from people that you didn't want to risk last yeah, night? Yeah, you know, Brunty, uh, Macaulay, you know, the people who've been away and played. Solomon was, was, was carrying a little bit as well. So those players have had the opportunity to have a, an extra day off. They're in today, we'll work today, and then they'll have Friday off and in. You know, Saturday, Sunday, Monday morning, we were really prepared for the Everton game. You've got a bit of time to work with them and get them back. Do you I've, I've got, I've got time to, 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 you know, the group who were went to to Norwich yesterday have got to, today off. You know, we didn't get back till late last night, so they've got a good, uh, you know, good opportunity to rest today. But the ones who um, who didn't travel and the ones who didn't play are all in today and will be working. How's Ben Foster? Is he making progress? Yeah, Ben. Ben's. He'll be on the grass in a couple of weeks, so you know, hopefully, fingers crossed. Then he'll, ju he'll just go from strength to strength. And finally, from me, I just wanted to ask you about a, look, a bit of the manager's group, I suppose, if you like. Roberto Martinez was getting some stick at the start from from some people because Everton had a slow start, and since then they're unbeaten in five in all yeah. competitions in the back. So, what did you make of that? What did you make of the job he's doing there, and what Everton? Have done? I, I just like I say, Everton is. Wonderful club. It's, it's one of my favourite grounds to go to. I think Goodison is, you know, it's an old-fashioned, traditional club. You know, I think the the supporters there are just absolutely fantastic. You know, it's one of those places. You know, it's a bit like Palace, a bit like Stoke. When the crowd get behind them, the whole place shakes. And um, you know, it it is one of those grounds that I really, really enjoy going to. And um, you know, it's a great, it's a great football club. You know, you talk about management. That's management, Rob. You know, it's on you at times, and you have to deal with it, and you have to handle it. And then other times, it's not on you; it's on someone else. And you get sympathy, for, you get great sympathy for other people, um, because you know what they're going through and what it's all about. It's a, it's a tough old job, this one. What about Everton? What do you make of the squad they've got together? Well, I've, I've watched the uh, a couple of games that, um, or their last couple of games, and they're good. They've got some good players. The two kids at fullback have, have done exceptionally well. Um, and I mean exceptionally well. Obviously, Stones and, and Jaggy Elka have formed a, a very, very good partnership. Barry is still forming at a, a very, very high level, and they've got Barkley, unbelievable ability. And then you've got Cody's playing Coney wide right, coming in off the, the right hand side. Who can score? You know, Lukaku can score. You know, Naismith is a, is a tremendous worker. So they've got, they've got good. But I think you know, you look at their team; they've got good energy. Um, and they've got uh, they've got that little grit and determination that you need to win games and not to lose games. And Roberto's got that uh, got that in abundance at the moment. Thanks, sir. You talked about the, the clean sheets that you uh, have. That's okay. Are you okay? Thank you. Sorry. No, Sorry. no, no. Has Andy picked Red Bit of a deeper line role yeah. last night. Has he got much of a future there? Now we we played um, when we've uh, done. Uh, you know, games in training, you know, we've played Victor in that, that little pocket and he's done exceptionally well. I just wanted to see him in a game, in a proper game. And he did very, you know, very well at times um, last night. You know, he's a very, very good pass for the ball in, in you know, in, and, and can switch play and open th things up. So, you know, he enjoyed, I think he enjoyed it. He ran out of steam you know, the last 20 minutes. He found it a little bit more difficult in there than what it, what it is up front. But, um, yeah, it was just a, you know it was a good opportunity to see him play, and you know he did his best. And Bolton were apparently in for him. Is that the case? Is he? I don't. Know. He wanted to stay here and fight for his place. Yeah, well, if they were, they were. But like I say, I, I'm. We've got uh, you know we've got to keep the group. We've got the group, and I'd like to keep that group now. I wouldn't want to lose anyone um, before Christmas. So, um, Rob highlighted um, how well you've done the points that you picked up so far. Would a home win kind of cement what you've done? Well, as I've just said, you know, it's going to be a tough one again on, on Monday. I think the first, you know, the opening four games, looking before the season started, I'm looking at the opening four games, I'm looking at Man City, Chelsea, 
uh, Southampton and Everton and, and, and really thinking that that is a tough run at home. You know, that, that is a tough run of games against established, you know, top sides. So we, we, I knew it was going to be difficult and it will be difficult on Monday again. But, you know, the, the performance against Villa should give the lads a lot of confidence. I think the, you know, the, the stuff they can glean out of that performance, you know, will give us the opportunity to, to go into the game with plenty of confidence. Even though you haven't won at home yet, the fans have still been really good. And been oh no, the, the supporters have been. Yeah, the support, supporters have been wonderful. They've been very, very good and very supportive. And I think the great thing for me is is the Seidel situation. You know the way you know. I think Seidel was concerned that you know there might be you know a, you know a, a little turning of the tide. But they were absolutely wonderful when he came on against um, Southampton and obviously last Saturday against against Villa. So you know that shows they they. You know, truly are you know in love with their football club and they want their football club to do well and um, you know Sider was a big part of that now and they've they've certainly embraced him and brought him back into the fold that naughty child <laughs>